I'm on Dunn Avenue in Parkdale. This neighborhood has more rooming houses than any other neighborhood in the city. And they're beautiful homes, but the housing escalation is hitting the rooming house market as well. Many are fast disappearing. There are three over here, one on the street, uh, just across the street, and one further down, but maybe not for long. And many are calling this a crisis. Parkdale has long been known for its rooming houses, providing a home to some of the city's most impoverished. But Toronto's red-hot housing market is striking here as well. This one, for example, uh, sold very recently. It's no longer a rooming house. A study by the Parkdale Neighbourhood Land Trust has found 28 rooming houses have been lost in the West End neighbourhood during the past 10 years, displacing some 347 people. The community group has even more grim findings for those who rely on rooming houses. It says 59 more are in danger of being closed, leaving an estimated 800 people homeless. What are you paying now for your rooming house unit? $575 for a very small room. With, it's a closet-sized room without a closet. Paul pays $550 a month for his room. But I've got a lot of little uh, infestation-type buddies, uh, cockroaches and bedbugs. And yet the houses they are in could be worth well over a million dollars. So landlords are cashing in and selling to families or to new landlords who hike up the rent. This address, 40 BD, was sold about a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, the new owners, uh, they're not really interested in operating affordable housing, so they've started to renovate the rooms. And rooms that used to rent for $590 are now on Craigslist for $1,500. When tenants are evicted from rooming houses, there's really nowhere for people to go anymore other than the streets or the shelters. So we're in a, we're in a housing crisis, but we're also seeing uh, an, an escalating homelessness crisis. The local councillor agrees. So what is the solution to this? Well, part of the solution is to protect what we've got. That's, a, that's job one. You, you can't solve a problem if you're letting it get worse. Councillor Gord Perks has asked for a solution to be examined. He hopes city staff will have some answers later this fall. Paul isn't sure if his rooming house will still be available by then. What would happen to you if this place closed, the one that you're currently in? I haven't a clue. Now, the community group would like public money to buy the rooming houses and then have them turned into not-for-profit accommodation. If you'd like to see their report, go to our website, citynews.ca.